Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. I didn't make this up. This is a real thing. For the love of DILFs series trailer, God is good. This exists. It's not from TLC. It's from Out TV. Let's read the description. An explosive dating show where two groups of gay men, daddies and himbos, H I M. B-O-S? Himbos? I'm gonna look this up really quick. What the fuck is a himbo? Oh, it's like the male version of bimbo. An attractive but unintelligent man. Okay. Imagine if they said that about the women on MILF Manor. Young hunks with old bimbos? <laughs> Jesus Christ. They compete to find love and win a $10,000 investment into their relationship. Hosted by Stormy Daniels? The porn star? Let's go! It's about to get horny in here. I obviously don't watch these before I talk shit about them. I'm pretty pumped about this. So let's hop right into it. It's a shorter clip. My bad, it is a series premiere. They do have the first episode out, and I think I'm going to talk shit about that as well. Let's go. Let's make fun of these himbos. Sexy, fun, and ready to show you a good time. They're himbos. This just comes off as a joke. Like if I was to make Dilf Manor, I still might do a sketch of that, but this is how it would be. Like you'd be like, is this serious? Is this real or not? Confident, mature, ready to show you the ropes. They're daddies. That was a big boy. Thought these were DILFs. That stands for dad I'd like to fuck. Nobody uses that terminology, by the way. That's not even a porn category. Nobody wants to see dads fuck. Welcome to For the Love of Dills. An epic romance is about to unfold as two groups of singles hunt for love. Oh, this is gonna get so sexual. But these are some gorgeous guys. I'm not gay, surprise. Like I could physically fuck one of these dudes. I just couldn't mentally, you know? He's my hope. This fine ass man is literally everything I'm looking for. I would love to see what's underneath the shorts. <laughs> you know, it would be funny if this game show had one straight guy and they had to guess who it was. I can't wait to see what's under those shorts. Like, oh my God, daddy. What do the gays say? Zaddy. Right off the bat, comparatively to MILF Manor, this is way less gross. It's hard to be disgusted when it's two guys. Unless you're a homophobe, then you're throwing up. But like, it just feels way less creepy if it's like a 20 something year old guy and it's a 50 year old man. It's like, they know what's going on here. Both teams just want a little bit of different bussy, butt pussy. I didn't make up that terminology. That's just for the older audience, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> I'm just looking for love in all the wrong places. Oh. Yeah. oh, and did we mention it's hosted by Stormy Daniels? Woof. Wait, is this the porn star that Trump fucked? Wait a minute, I'm gonna Google this. Is a lot of Googling going on here. I'm, I'm gonna Google two different things. One sec. Did our Lord and Savior Trump fuck Stormy Daniels? Oh, this is the porn star, dude, she's a dog. Let me look up her porn really quick. You know, maybe she's been out of the game for a while. You know, as far as porn stars go, incredibly mid. I'd be actually pretty disappointed if they're like, there's gonna be a porn star on this game show. I'm like, oh boy. It's fucking Stormy Daniels looking like a foot. Now I'm gonna put my hand in my box and see who is going home. That's not the first time she said that sentence. At the end of this emotional journey, only one couple will be voted most likely to succeed and win a $10,000 investment into their relationship. What the fuck does that mean? A $10,000 investment into your relationship? What, paying off credit card debt? And I know one day, like, I'm gonna find that guy. I know, like, I'm ready to be in a relationship and... <laughs> I'm sorry. Why the fuck are you crying? This does give off a completely different vibe than MILF Manor, though. It's like, oh, this guy actually thinks that there's a chance. But this actually makes more sense than MILF Manor. The dads want a young twink to fuck, and the young twinks want security and penis. But why are you being such a bitch, bro? If you could take a dick, you don't have to cry about it. Is it just me, or do people who suck dick cry more? <laughs> we should look into that statistic. Do you go with older guys normally, or what's I, your... I do. I know I'm pausing a lot, but it's 
my show, and it's also a short clip. That younger guy looked like he had a face of a 40-year-old. Looked like a gay Mr. Bean. <laughs> Not the forehead kiss. I don't see that a lot. I don't, I don't see guys kissing on the lips often. It's not disgusting, not against gays or anything. I'm gonna be real with you, it is a little jarring every time. It's like the fifth time I've seen this. The fourth time was during Black Mirror when the two black dudes would play that video game and fuck each other. That was a good episode. We start with the forehead. Oh, okay. This dude's smooth as fuck. I'd fuck this guy. Growing up as a gay kid, you know, you don't see two princes falling in love. Maybe my fairy tale doesn't look like the cliche fairy tales that I've been reading, but... It's like they fucking saw me get uncomfortable. It's like they heard what I said. <laughs> I just had the thought, I bet you there's a subset of men who think if they watch this that they'll turn gay. I, I can't watch that gay shit. Are you kidding me? I love tits. Everyone deserves to live happily ever after. I've kind of been someone who hasn't ever really felt embraced by the queer community because I didn't fit into the box. Yeah, none of you guys would willingly fit into a box. Also, this hairy fucking guy, that's referred to as a bear, right? Because I have shoulder hair, and I feel like I have to shave it to have sex with women, right? Should I just go gay? Like, seems like there's a lot of sex, a lot of body positivity, and I can have hairy shoulders. Like, I feel like I could kind of let myself go and succeed in the gay community. This is why gay isn't a choice. Because I would pick that every fucking time. See how easy it is to fuck these guys? I would get so much more ass. I'm um, grateful just for this, regardless of like if I find someone or not. I think I'm absolutely correct with the, uh, like, if you suck a dick, you are more likely to cry. Makes sense. I've never stared down the fucking barrel of a cock before. But if I did, I'd probably be a little bit more emotional. But... There's always a but, especially in this house. I have some bad news. It won't be as easy as it sounds. There's gonna be girls here. Ew, no. Gross. I don't want to see pussy. Wait, also, are these DILFs? They're all dads? These aren't their sons. I forgot to even think about this. Wait. Yeah, they wouldn't have sons. Uh, if you didn't know, gay people can't reproduce, but they keep popping up. So these guys are just DILFs because of their age that's not how dads work i know a dilf he's a fellow comedian his name's tj and he's hot as fuck me and all my comedian friends should apply for this show just straight dudes but we just got to be gay for the show and see who could win we're like yeah let's see who could be the most fake gay and we're all just like oh, finally because in the dilf mansion things get real bitch if you're gonna be shady like just do i get back. need to be shady what the f just happened? I'm done, dude. I wish you all the best. Bobby's like crying in the bedroom. What you said, it wasn't really cool. Probably call them fat. See, like with this, there's a fat guy here, but it seems fine. You know what I'm saying? Like on MILF Manor, if there was a really fat mom, everybody would be like, what the fuck are you doing here? But here, it just seems like they're fine with it, which I mean, they should be. I talk shit a lot about fat people, but you know they're just gassing him up about his body. Also, I'm trying to figure out, like, are there going to be arguments or fights in this house because to be real i don't actually know if i know a gay person i know some bisexual guys but that that's gay because like there's testosterone these dudes are fucking built because gay dudes are still dudes i think they're gonna swing on each other because you know they're, they're gonna have a moment where their deep man comes down they're like what the fuck you say pussy i blew your back out last night and you're talking to me this way stand the fuck up you are baby daddy of the season just when you thought you knew how dating shows worked. What? what? This isn't any love story. This is for the love of Dilfs. Wow, that song just ruined the whole fucking show. That song was the gayest part about this. That's insane. Will you be my daddy? A lot less drama. Like, there was some... But it was more like, oh, look at them being sexual and happy. That's not what reality television is about. I also don't think people want to see people, like, crying. They want to see it a little bit, not all the time. The fights are going to be fantastic, though. 
I might give this another shot to see if it's like, if it has that reality television feel, you know? It's also not a dating show. By the way, actually, this is more of a dating show than Milf Manor. Because, like, this makes sense. These older guys are like, oh, I've gone through uh, his age before. I know what he's going through. I also know how to suck dick. I want to see what the difference is between the DILFs and the MILFs, like what they say about the younger kids. Like, are these dads going to be like, yeah, I can't wait to show them a couple things? Because the dads are going to know that these guys know everything. Porn. Like, I recently watched a real-life hentai of Ray Lil Black getting fucked by a mechanical squid. I was like, not bad. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, the himbos. Is that a compliment in the gay community? I've never heard that. Because I think a bimbo is usually an insult, but there's like this small percentage of women to who it's not. And that is what I'm looking for. But comment down below what you guys think about this. It doesn't have the same pizzazz as MILF Manor. Like if it was dads dating daughters, it would seem illegal. But I think they, I think TLC should do it because they have no fucking morals. This show's not going to last. For a gay dude, that was like soft core porn, right? They're like humping each other, smacking ass. I think I might do like the, the episode. It is 40 minutes long, so I might do it in chunks just to see what it's like. Because I am interested like in the viewpoint, like I said. And also, like I said, I don't really know any gay people, so this will be interesting to see them act in the wild. Didn't know they cried so much. But thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere, guys. I appreciate you so much. Did you know I have a Patreon and post a Patreon podcast on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy? That's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. And TLC loves to copyright claim. What does that mean? That means they take the revenue from any video they want. Falsely. This is a reaction video which falls under fair use. So I have to send them legal documents that say, if you want to keep the revenue for this video... You have to sue me, which they won't fucking do. I haven't made fun of this company before. We'll see how it goes. It wouldn't actually surprise me if TLC owned this company. TLC is not the only people that false copyright claim, by the way. Discovery, MTV, heinous. I got paid half of what I was supposed to get paid last month because of copyright claim. So if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy and mainly TLC copyright claiming... Patreon.com slash WineboxPoppy. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. We are fucking killing it. I love you guys. Mwah.